Organizers and employees of a Spokane diploma mill are heading to prison. That's a ruling today from a judge in federal court. KXY4's Melissa Luck has been following this case since it began some three years ago. She's live in the newsroom with details of today's sentencing. Well, Dave, at the outset, the concept of a diploma mill is simple. Customers found these fake online schools and bought fake degrees and transcripts. But today in court, the government proved why this case goes much deeper than just that. And a federal judge agreed. It was three years ago next month that we stood along Highway 2 and watched the Secret Service raid the operations of an international diploma mill. It was the culmination of an extensive Secret Service investigation. Today in federal court marked the end for four key defendants in this case. All four pleaded guilty in April to charges that included fraud and conspiracy. Using these websites, they made millions of dollars selling fake degrees all over the world, from high school degrees to PhDs and everything from healthcare to engineering. Prosecutors argued they put the public at risk by selling degrees to foreign nationals that could have helped them get into this country illegally. And when a judge sentenced ringleader Dixie Randock to three years in prison today, those who have followed the case said justice was served. I've kind of known about this particular operation for some years, so oh, part of it is just closure, part of it is because this is something that's helping the higher education community uh, begin to understand how to deal with fraudulent uh, academic credential production. Dr. George Gollin traveled halfway across the country to be here. A professor at the University of Illinois, he has long worked for enforcement of laws prohibiting diploma mills and says this case and this sentencing are significant. This is really the first time that uh, there's been a criminal investigation, a uh, federal criminal investigation of, a, of an international in scope diploma mill. So it's something of tremendous significance in international higher education. Gollin says this will help pave the way for further prosecution of diploma mills worldwide. And though they avoided the cameras today, each defendant told the court they were sorry for what they did. And here's a breakdown of the sentences handed down today. Dixie Randock gets three years in prison. She was the ringleader of this operation. Her daughter, Heidi Lorhan, will spend a year and a day in prison. Roberta Markishtam, who pleaded guilty to a lesser charge, will serve four months in prison. And Steve Randock's sentencing was continued to August. The judge is still considering information about his medical history. Live in the newsroom, Melissa Lutt, KXLY4.